as already stated, 29 apparel companies operating in our EPZ are exporting to the U.S. and employ nearly 60,000 people. They have enabled Kenya export over $7 billion worth of incumbents to the U.S. duty-free, of which $545 million US dollars was exported in 2022. Consequently, Kenya is now the biggest government exporter to the U.S. in Africa, and our Africa Growth and Opportunities Act apparel strategy has stimulated a 12-fold increase in value of our exports in the last two decades. This is not the entire story. Our EPZ ecosystem has expanded to 101 gazetted zones in 22 counties, which accounts for Kenya Shilling's $149 billion in cumulative investment and directly employs over 75,000 people from Mombasa all the way to Malaba. Of this, the textile and apparel sector constitutes over 100 companies which employ over 6,000 people directly and between 150,000 and 200,000 people indirectly. Under Beta and Agoa, we can look ahead with confidence and expect rapid growth in our apparel industry. I am delighted to announce that the United States, through USAID, is partnering with Kenya to create jobs, increase trade, and strengthen our entire textile and apparel sector, and we are truly grateful to USAID. <laughs> with, with additional support from Prosper Africa, and I'm very delighted that the team leader of Prosper Africa is in our midst, USAID has therefore invested another 11 million US dollars in grants in the following areas. First, the investment is aimed at expanding the promising Kenyan fashion brands like Vivo, and I saw them here, Equeta and Ubuntu. <laughs> Secondly, the investment is extended to grow Kenya's apparel manufacturing base in conjunction with companies like Hela, Mass, Best, Atraco, Royal, Simba, UL, and Mega, and all of them I saw them exhibiting here. Finally, the investment is aimed at bringing a new vertical capability to Kenya's textile and apparel subsector with the entry of companies like Coniho and NextGen into the manufacturing of elastics and labeling. As was said earlier, it will make our turnaround in production much more efficient, faster, and cost-effective. These companies have committed to match this investment with their own investments, amounting to 77 million in total, or Kenya shillings 10 billion in the short term. This combined effort will be expected to generate an additional 330 million US dollars in apparel exports and create another 20,000 jobs by the end of next year. I know that uh, whenever I stop at, at the river here, um, the question I, um, I'm asked is that there is no sufficient water. And the people in the river normally complain that there is water in the EPZ and there is no water in the town. So we intend to deal with that as I made a commitment that uh, this is going to be sorted out uh, in the next couple of weeks, maybe one or two months, we will complete the Northern Collector Tunnel program that uh, will supply water directly to this EPZ and to the people of Atiriva, I want to tell them there will be water for Atiriva as well. Um, this partnership embodies the future of Kenya, a future built on solid investment with skilled labor efficient technology, quality manufacturing, and strong linkages with global markets. I am particularly encouraged to note that the potential of investments and partnership in this subsector is greatly increased formal, uh, um, uh, has greatly increased formal sector employment opportunities for women and youth, with the sector poised 
to create up to a million jobs over the next decade, this inclusive impact will be transformative. The next important agenda to achieve the full potential of this subsector is to develop vertical integration from fabric to apparel through improvement along the value chain aimed at reducing production costs, enhancing quality control, and creating economies of scale. Fabric production is therefore going to be critical in giving apparels made in Kenya a competitive advantage. And I have said what we are doing to make sure that that becomes the case. This means that there is increased opportunity for the visionary investor to take advantage of this opportunity, as well as our favorable overall investment environment to construct a fabric mill in one of our counties. Such an investment would be particularly opportune given that 40,000 farmers are already farming cotton and producing between 20,000 and 40,000 bales annually. I am announcing an investment opportunity, so those people who have ears, they better, they better listen. <laughs> this has the potential to increase not just the number of farmers, but acreage under production to achieve at least 260,000 bales annually. And you not only have a ready market in our EPZ uh, ecosystem, but you also have a very e efficient farming community to support. Our projections for the growth of the textile and apparel sector based on the current potential and investment growth is that a compound annual growth of 20% is feasible, which would produce over 1 billion US dollars in exports and create 200,000 more jobs by 2027. Further increase exports to 2 billion US dollars with 650,000 jobs by 2031 and reach over 3 billion US dollars in exports and more than 850,000 jobs by 2034. I want uh, the leaders who are here to keep track of the numbers. The numbers are very important. In other words, the conditions exist for Kenya's textile and apparel subsector to drive rapid growth in investment, manufacturing, employment, exports, and technology competitiveness. This is the context in which we appreciate the entry of next-gen packaging EPZ into our textile and apparel subsector because of the future we think should be our target as we go uh, into the next stage. Welcome to Kenya, a land of opportunity and nation going places. Welcome to the future, a future of transformation and inclusive growth. And I wish you all success in everything that you do. The next gen packaging EPZ factory in Akriva is now officially commissioned. Thank you very much. God bless you and God bless Kenya. Asante San. One photo opportunity. If I may now call on the CEO NextGen, the U.S. Ambassador, Governor Machakos, CS Trade and